Uh, all right, so yes, sir, we got it open. As you can see, you see that cool white box. I have not seen these in person yet. I went to a Hibbit, like a local Hibbit. Hey man, say man, it's Armand Tubrio in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing video on the Jordan 4 White Thunders that just released last weekend. Today's Wednesday, so like four days ago, pretty much came out last Saturday. So yeah, let's get into it. They didn't do any shock drop or anything special for this pair. They, I don't know if they, they might have did like a Jordan Reserve somewhere. I think they did in like LA or somewhere, but they didn't do any like they didn't really do nothing too crazy for this pair. Like for the for example, the Jordan 4 Reimagines, whenever they came out, they did a sneakers pass. I'm pretty sure. Well, they might not done a sneaker pass actually. But they, they did a sneaker pass for the military blues in the back right here. And then they did, a, I know for sure they did um, and a shock drop for the Jordan 4 bed reimagines because I actually hit those 12 and a halfs, which is a hard size to hit, especially on sneakers. Um, I hit the, that 12 and a half, my personal size. That did an on fee review on. Go check out that on fee review. But hey, we got this package right here straight from sneakers. When you see that little um, lettering, uh, when you see that font, you already know where it's from. So let's get it. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this box. So I'm um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, bet we got it. I think it's, they, they taped up this box. Well, it's very secure, actually. Uh, all right, so yes, yeah, sir, we got it open. As you can see, you see that cool white box. I have not seen these in person yet. I went to a Hibbit, like a local Hibbit to me, and this Hibbit was in a, um, let's just say, this Hibbit was like kind of far from me, so I drove like 20 minutes to get down there, and when I got down there, I literally called them before I went there, and they said they had a 10 and a half, and I asked them if they had a 12, they said they didn't have any 12s, which I expected, but they said they had a 10 and a half, so I pulled up to Hibbit, and they said that the first come first serve cut off at like 1 o'clock, so y'all drop in the comments if y'all know about that. Does it cut off at 1 o'clock? I don't think first come first serve cuts off at 1 o'clock. I think it like starts at 12, and then you can just come whenever you want afterwards. Like That was very weird, super suspicious of that Hibbit. Hold on, my cat's trying to get on the box. Hold on one sec, y'all. All right, we're going to get back in this box, and my cat is right there chilling. I don't know if y'all can see her, but yeah, she just tried to, she smelt the fresh shoe, and she got good smell, so yay. Hey, but yes, sir, hey, as you can see, this is a size 12 and a half. I hit these on sneakers. I didn't think I was going to hit them. I just, like, I only entered up on one account. I have, like, I usually enter up on two accounts just to, you know, guarantee I'm going to get the dub, but I just, I didn't want these that bad, so I just went in for my personal size. I'm like, okay, if I get them, I might do on feet review. So I might do on feet, but I probably not. I'm probably just going to do unboxing, y'all, because Hey, 12 and a half is going for some money right now. These are doing better than like a military blue whenever they came out. Military blues are like just now finally kind of going to 240. They were at like 220. They were super low for a while, but hey, we on the we talking about the white thunders today. These are doing pretty good. If you want to know about market and stuff like that, go check out my recent video I just uploaded. Um, if is the white thunder force a good hold or sell now? So go check out that video. So yeah, um, size 12 and a half, good size cool really cool box like white with like kind of like a cement kind of like that cement like um i don't know how to explain it but it has like that kind of gloss like cement you can kind of see those little dots all over kind of like a cement box and it has the flight on it none too crazy but yeah uh we gonna go ahead and unbox these yes sir okay as you can see nothing too crazy the wrapping paper looking kind of like how it does on the outside of the box but boom first look at these okay cool hey these are actually pretty nice nothing too too crazy but i have not seen these in person yet so i'm glad are right, we getting back into it how to oh, anyways these are actually really nice i could definitely see like why these are doing pretty good uh people would definitely wanted these these sold out everywhere i went to like a couple malls well i went to one mall and they didn't have any sizes left over from men's the next day literally after the release like the sunday after the release day so yeah these are actually pretty good it has like a little new buck new buck suede nothing too crazy feels pretty good people were saying the quality is not that good on these but hey they're looking pretty decent oh yeah that fresh shoe, shoe smell but yeah i hit a 12 and a half that's a unicorn size and i hit it from sneakers that was pretty i lucked up and went in on one account and i got that got em. that was a good feeling so it's always a good feeling to get that got em. but yeah bottom pretty cool like a black like these definitely look like an oreo shoe i heard somebody say these look like the oreos which they do but these are the white thunders i have a pair of yellow thunders too i might go grab those but probably not for right now we're going to be focused on the white thunders pretty nice these look pretty nice i don't see no defects on this pair pretty dope pair like mainly black and white it's a really good easy to wear pair let me grab the other pair real quick okay boom got both pairs outside the box these are actually really dope has like the white touches this is super simple it's pretty much like an all black jordan and people always go crazy for all black jordans for example black cat jordan fours those are rumored to come out next year 2025 so that's that's gonna be crazy if those come out i might have to get one of those for the toe because i i've been wanting a pair of black cats for a while but they are they're dumb expensive but this is like the closest to a black cat right now i see why these are going crazy why everyone wants them because 
they're just pretty much a black cat with like a couple white hints which that's actually better because it makes the shoe more you know more uh, dope because black cats are pretty basic there's all black but anyways hold on i see a little scuff i think it's like a glue stain right here so that's a one factor defect i see on this pair but yeah nothing too crazy definitely a nice jordan 4 has you know the white hints on the cage and then the white hints on the lace things i don't know what that's exactly called and then on the sole like the base has the white um paint this is like freshly painted you can just tell so yeah hey this is a pretty dope shoe nothing too too crazy definitely nice definitely something you could wear on the daily could probably wear this with my fit right now but yeah i could definitely wear this with my fit right now you don't want to get like like full black and white because i don't know that might be too much black and white but yeah with my fit right now hey a little bit of red vape shorts you know supreme shirt that'd go kind of hard with this fit right here but i was thinking about doing it on feet but it's actually raining outside right now so the weather is not good for on feet review right now i definitely can't bring my camera outside so i don't know i definitely do like this pair but do i like them enough to personalize them honestly i already have a pair of black and red jordan fours the bread reimagines which i do like better than these honestly i like the bread reimagines a lot better because it has a nike air on the back these just have the jump man on the back so not too crazy but let me take a sip of water real quick but yeah like i was saying these have the nike air on the back i just like the black and red better this shoe would actually go better with my fit right now because of the red shorts and stuff but i just like the leather and stuff on these better just better quality just a leather shoe really nice but hey this isn't a review on the bread reimagines if you want to see my review on the bread reimagines and i did on feet review because i did personalize this pair this is a 12 and a half as well i hit these on the shock drop like i said so that's pretty crazy but let's get back in the white thunders okay Okay, boom, another uh, factor defect that I'm seeing. What is this, Nike? Why is there a white speckle on my toe box? What is that? White paint speckle. Like, come on. Okay, it came, it came off. Okay, I give them that. Okay, it did come off, but yeah. Yeah, anyways, I don't know what that was, but it did come off, uh, thankfully. But yeah, this is definitely a dope pair. If you wear a 12 and a half and you want these, I don't know, I might hold on to these. I might keep these on ice for a little bit on some sneakerhead stuff. Just keep them in the box for a little bit. I might tell them, might not. And then if they go up, oh my gosh, Nike, what is this? They're, okay, these these are actually, these are a GR. You know these are a GR when you're starting to see factor defects like this. I have another pair of size 12 on that I haven't unboxed yet. Then I have a, a pair of size grade school coming in. Then I have, a I think, a size nine coming in as well. So I have a couple pairs of these. I, I, I honestly regret not getting more of these because just seeing how good they're doing on the aftermarket, I could just definitely see these doing pretty well. But go check out my video if you want to know, like, you know, kind of like, you know, reseller tips and stuff like that. This is more of like a in-depth shoe on, you know, the shoe if you should cop these. Honestly, these are a good cop if you do not have, honestly, the like I said, I don't want to, you know, uh, overshadow these, but the bread reimagines are like better than these just because I like shoes, uh, Jordan 4s with the Nike Air in the back more than, you know, just the Jumpman, which the Jumpman is pretty cool. A little hint of the white Jumpman goes hard. Let me take a sip of water real quick. But yeah, the white Jumpman on the back goes pretty hard. Let me put them together. You know, it doesn't hit like the Nike Air whenever you put both the shoes together, but hey, still pretty dope. Nice Jordan 4, definitely a good Jordan 4. It's nice to see like the third um, Thunder edition come out. This is the third ed edition when they had the red Thunders come out and they had the yellow Thunders. I'm probably pop them on the screen. The yellow Thunders are pretty cool. I might go grab those real quick. Okay, boom, this is the boxes. The white Thunder are pretty much the same box as these like this has like a very similar box but let me grab the white uh, the yellow thunders real quick out the box yeah literally the same shoe as you can see just mainly black but these have the yellow this looks pretty dope when you um have these two together this is actually pretty dope because they like just a nice black this like nice contracts which do y'all prefer though drop in the comments the red thunders i don't have those unfortunately i do like the red thunders i think the best these might be the best thunder i'm not gonna lie these are pretty nice you know key glock if you know the rapper he kind of put these on the i've said this before in a video but he, uh he has like an album cover where he's wearing these so that kind of you know made these a little bit more cool you know but this is where what you like but you know i, I thought that was pretty cool because you know hey kind of like one of my favorite rappers but yes sir hey dope shoe though i've always liked the thunders actually like the tw they had like a 2012 version i'm pretty sure which hold on i have my fan on i just realized this i have my fan on i don't know if that y'all could hear it on the mic that would suck hold on okay thankfully i don't think y'all could have heard my fan on but that would have sucked i sometimes like to put the fan anyways that's these are actually really dope good cop like i was saying i honestly prefer these i think these might be the best thunder the red thunders go pretty hard but the red thunders they're and eh, they're okay you can only wear that with certain fits and same with these you can only wear these with certain fits so honestly we we'll put these down let's get back on the white thunders since it's, since it's like a white thunder review the white thunders might be the king the best one because these are just so wearable so i see why these are doing so good definitely a dope shoe nice black canvas all over i really like how they did another thunder thunders always go hard like i said whenever i used to like when i used to be obsessed with jordan i'm still obsessed with uh, you know jordans and stuff like that but when i was younger when i first got into jordans i remember i used to look at the thunders i'm pretty sure there's a few other i don't know if the lightnings were out back then and like i think they did come out like around I don't know. I, I don't know. I think the Lightning just came out like three years ago, but I don't know if they did like a previous time where they dropped in like earlier, early, like, you know, 2013, 2015. Um, but they did drop like a 2013 Thunder, I'm pretty sure it might have been like somewhere around that. 
And that kind of sucks for people who had the 2013 Thunders because they probably went for a lot of money and then they re-released these last year, 2023. And that always kills, you know, the older ones and kills like the market on them. So it sucks for collectors who've had like the older pairs, but it's good because, you know, those older ones are starting to crumble probably and, you know, probably not wearable, but these are actually really nice. Pretty comfortable, it feels like. Yeah, they feel pretty comfortable. I think these are the new, have the new shape too. Yeah, I think these have the new shape. Let me check real quick. Yep, I'm pretty sure that these have the new shape that the bread reimagines. Um, they just started the shape with the bread reimagines. It's kind of like the SB4 where they're just way more comfortable. Like these are just way, whenever I tried on my Jordan 4 bread reimagines, I was like, dang, these are much more comfortable than other Jordan 4s I've tried on because they used to, you know, other like Jordan 4s previously used to hurt your pinky toe. Like this build, I'm pretty sure this build is the one that hurt your pinky toe, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure you can still wear them. I'm pretty sure like, you know, you have to wear them for like a whole day for them to like kind of hurt your feet. But yeah, he's go true to size most of the time on Jordan 4s or yeah, on the older ones, I used to go like half a size up, I think. Oh, I've always went true to size, but I heard people going half a size up. But on these new build ones, you just go true to size and they'll fit you pretty good. So hopefully you made this far in this video so you get those tips just in case anyone was wondering if this is like your first Jordan 4. But yeah, back on the Jordan 4 White Thunders. Hold on, let me put these up. All right, I don't want to ramble too much in this video. I just smacked the mic, my bad. But let me just go over a couple more details I noticed. Uh, just really nice. Like, this is pretty much like a, people are saying the Panda Jordan 4s, but... Hey, this is very wearable. I really like them. I definitely, you know, I like Oreo. I like the name Oreo a lot better on these because, you know, this, that's just dope. You know, it makes them sound better. It's the Oreo Jordan 4s. I think they did come out with the Oreo Jordan 4 like not long ago. That was like white and they were literally called the Oreos, which is a pretty dope name. But yeah, these are pretty nice. As you can see on the toe box, on that caging on the toe box has the white. There's good white hints all over this black shoe. So just really wearable, really nice. So if you're looking, if you're thinking about copping these, these are definitely a cop. Excuse me. Hold on one sec. These are definitely a cop, but yeah there's not too much to say i don't want to ramble too much on this video there's not really no butts definitely a dope shoe as you can see what you see is what you get kind of right here nothing too crazy no good canvas on them honestly not not bad quality at all i heard people saying this is not good quality but they're actually not bad quality at all laces are like black and sparkless i always love jordan jordans because like they have like the black like sparkless laces whenever you like shine a light on them but yeah really dope pair oh it also has like the white uh caging inside the laces so i think that makes like a cool hint whenever you're wearing them at night and maybe like a light is like shining on like you know like a you know some light shining on your feet so you can kind of see like the white under the laces so that's really dope definitely a dope shoe right here nothing too too crazy i would do on feet for y'all but like i said this pair is hey this pair is pretty high in price and i already have a black jordan 4 so i kind of want to make my money on this pair i'm not gonna lie but we're gonna see i might wear them i might not if i do an on feet review in the future i don't know i'll let y'all know we'll just see but yeah drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell if you made it this far in this video nothing too too crazy jordan 4 white thunders yes sir i think that's all i had to talk about so peace